So what you got, what you got right here, is that you need to bring your camera on right there. Dicks, look down in the hole. So come out. So what we got right here is a, we've already established an area, a perimeter, in which we want to start doing our plants. Uh, the mobile home diva, diva wants to start doing her, her her front lawn. She has a she has a lot of a lot of area out here, and because this is this uh, mobile home, a uh, modular home was put on a on a hill in, in Georgia, somewhat southward. It has a lot of red dirt, so she's uh, making an effort to uh, combat this red red clay and get us some greenery going on. And so what we have here is that we've already established a, a area in which to uh, start to grow things. And this is a plant. Show that plant. This is a plant that she she got from a mom. The roots, a mom moved the plant and the plant had a couple of roots on it. So she wanted to try to, uh, since she liked the uh, plant, the flowers that it, it produced, she wanted to get part of the root and see could she migrate it down to our area, south of, of her mom, and try to get it going. So this is the start of that. So what are we gonna do first? So the first thing we did was we used a uh, six inch auger and we got, got pretty deep in here. And we're using a hole digger to take some of the dirt up out of it. That dirt's pretty brown so it looks like it's some pretty good, pretty good soil. So we're gonna break that up. So when we put the, uh, so the, you don't want to pack it down from the from the bottom. You want to keep it kind of loose. And we're gonna put some potting soil in there with it. It's a regular potting soil. Miracle grow. Miracle grow. Yeah, that's a miracle grow. We're gonna kind of mix that up with that with that dirt down at the bottom, so it can. Try to stay loose and won't get hard. The original, original dirt in it. It kind of cultivates a, it kind of mixes in with that dirt to give it a good, a good mixture. And then we're gonna take this root. Can you bring it in? Yes, please, ma'am. As you can see, we got the root inside some water. I don't know if you can see that water. Got yeah. the root inside the water so it, it kind of stay there, not dry out. This piece, it rooted. You can see the sprouts on it. So we're going to try this piece. I'm going to sit that down in there a little bit. Well, it stands up a little bit. And we got, a, we got another piece. It was sprouting too. So. Here's the root. You can see the greenery flowers that was on it. Let's just take them off. We're gonna sit that down in there too. We're gonna take some of this pine soil and there's a tad right there. Take some of this other soil and kind of just, just mix it in. We don't want to pack it in, we want to kind of let it have a The roots some uh, some area to breathe down in there. I'm gonna pack it in. I'm gonna clean it out. Maybe, hopefully, it'll catch root and start to grow. Then you can start to see the results. Do you know what color the flowers are on it? Uh, orange. I think, I think it was orange, 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 red, like color. 
Do you know the name of the flower? No, you have to talk to mother law about that. So you see we got three What's her calling now? That's three different kinds. Let's see. We'll put a little fertilizer. Top soil, uh Hello? Pine soil on top. I saw where you called me and I called you back. Oh, I might hit you back. What's the name of that flower that Walter uh replanted today? Uh Lantana. A lantana. Yeah. He put a piece of the root down in the ground here. We're gonna see if it grows. Yeah, if it put it in the sun. Yeah, it's gonna be in the sun. Yeah. Okay. Lantana. Lantana. Okay. Well, we out here doing that now. I'll call you back. Okay. okay. I put a picture of the lantana on the screen. So you want to go up there and get your. So that's the lantana, you guys when it's in bloom. So pretty. This is a pink one. Hope you can see it. Wanna do what? I'm gonna go out there and get you some of them. Some of the pieces of wood to put around it. Okay. All right, keep the people company while I'm gone. So that's about that's about it. You then you wanna you wanna take some of that water. Take some of that water. Let it soak down in that. Yeah. Soak down in there, get it. Keep that root root moist. Let it soak on in there. Yeah, soak on down in there. You want to water this thing about every day until it starts to catch root. Like these, uh, like the other plants. They don't call roots up. So. Starting to catch root then. Uh, That's about the size of me. On the time of tail now. Just thought we'd share that with you. Try to be your border so your water stay. When it soak in, it won't run off of the stay in that in that area. My wife is bringing a couple of pieces of. Busted wood, so we can kind of give it some perimeter. Oh, you only got the biggest piece you can find. Eh? Why you do that? How many more you need? I mean, I guess this will do right here. I don't want you. To, I don't want you to get yourself all messed up, dirty. But that's about it. We got one, two, three pieces. All right, babe. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Well, that about does it for today, you guys. I just wanted to share with you the new plant that um, we are trying to grow in the yard. Again, it's a lantana. My husband uprooted um, one from my mom's yard and moved it to another location and tried to salvage some of the roots that didn't get re put back into the ground and see if we can make them grow here. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with that. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more of what we're doing in our yard, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time we upload a video. Also, um, make sure that you go over to see me blogs. That's C M E B L O G Z and subscribe to my blog channel. This is my main channel, but make sure that you subscribe to the blog channel. Um, so that you don't miss any of the videos that we post. We love you and thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.